He'll never get a hold of me strawberry smiggles because they're banana flavored. Great intro. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Carl Monroe and I don't even know what to say. If you're new here or haven't yet, be sure you hit like and subscribe for daily gaming content. That sounded so unenthusiastic. If you're new here or haven't yet, be sure you hit like and subscribe for daily gaming content. Multiplayer games are fun, you get to hang out with friends who may be on the other side of the world, or maybe find some new ones. But most multiplayer games aren't scary because you're with friends. But which multiplayer games manage to keep their scare factor even when you're with your best buds? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the top 10 scary multiplayer games you need to play. Roll the intro. Number 10, Secret Neighbor. Secret Neighbor is a multiplayer social horror game set in the Hello Neighbor universe. Six kids try to sneak into their creepy neighbor's house, trying to get into the locked basement door, only to realize that one of them is the neighbor in disguise. The events of this game take place between the first and second act of the original Hello Neighbor game, and I'm assuming it's a group of random kids instead of the player character from the original game. As the neighbor, you get to choose from several classes and use everything in your power to prevent the kids from succeeding. Initially, you are in disguise and it's up to you to gain the trust of your fellow fellow players to lure them away from the group and make them disappear. You have bear traps, secret rooms, and smoke bombs at your disposal to make sure you succeed, rather than these uncontrollable spawn. Like, control your kids, man. And at 9, Hide and Shriek. Hide and Shriek is a one-on-one -on -one multiplayer first-person survival horror battle. Each match consists of 10 minutes, where your objective is simple. Scare the living daylights out of your opponent and make them drop a fat one on the floor or kill them. The player with the most points at the end will win. You get points by scaring your opponent, luring them into traps, and performing an ancient ritual. But there is one thing that may hinder you. You're both invisible. Use your surroundings to locate your opponent. Use your surroundings to make them think they found you and lure them into a trap. You will need to have a keen eye to catch where they are. Are you up for the challenge? The game is free to play on Steam, so be sure to get it and get your friend to grab it too. In an 8 SCP Secret Laboratory. Another free to play horror game available right now on Steam. SCP Secret Laboratory is another multiplayer game where you have the chance to play some of your favorite SCP monsters. Take on the role of a scientist, class D worker, nine tailed fox, chaos insurgency agent, or an SCP object in order to accomplish your tasks and win the game. Each team has their own objectives and only wins once all of them are completed. The game includes 35 achievements and is microphone compatible, meaning you don't need friends to play this game with. You can just hop online and play with some random and you'll have just as much fun if not more because you don't know these people at all. The game is higher on the list because while scary, there are more funny moments than not. The SCPs within the game are terrifying and if you're not the one in control of them, then you best be on your toes. Anything goes in this every team for themselves game, but whose side are you on? And at 7, The Forest. If you know me, you know this had to be on the list, I'm sorry. Yes, recently I've been talking a lot about The Forest, but that's just because it's a damn good game. My friend Cameron got me into it and now I keep bugging him to play, but he won't. Typical Cameron. You think I forgot about jujitsu? Cause I didn't. Joking aside, this game is incredible for multiplayer. Sure, it makes it slightly easier, but it makes it harder too, especially when playing with harder difficulties. Let me give you some tips on how Cameron and I have been thriving in our multiplayer world. Live next to the ocean. We used to live in a lake since the cannibals couldn't get to us. Oh yeah, the monsters you fight are humanoid cannibals and grotesque mutants, BT dubs. But living by the ocean on the beach gives you a constant supply of food. Just chuck a plastic straw out there and you'll get like 12 turtles coming in dead. There aren't any straws in this game, but they are constantly coming ashore for you to kill and dry the meat out of the turtles. Plus you get shells for more water collectors. It's the perfect spot, especially near the fertile lands. Oh yeah, the list. <laughs> right. It's scary, it's great. You all play as a polyamorous gay group of fathers looking for their dead child on a mutant infested island. It's great. Just there's also a giant worm dragon. And at 6, Deceit. Love games where you have to lie to your friends? Well, Deceit is the true horror version of Secret Neighbor. Deceit tests your instincts in an action-filled multiplayer first-person shooter horror. Surrounded by five others, a third of your group has been infected with a deadly virus and tasked with killing all the innocent players. As an innocent, your goal is to stay alive, traverse three zones, and escape through a safety hatch as the infected want to pick you off one by one. Can you spell innocent backwards? The game is literally the scary version of any deception game you've played. Trouble in Terrorist Town? Nope. One Night? Got nothing on this. Secret Neighbor? Ha! 
please. After playing this game, you can never trust your friends again. You think you know their tells, their lying voice? Well, if you're so confident, put your money where your mouth is. The game is again free on Steam. Pick it up. It also has some DLCs for purchase that allow you to be a werewolf and a vampire. Ha. Uh. The age old question. In your 5, Friday the 13th. Based on the film franchise of the same name, this survival horror game is where you take on either the role of a Crystal Lake counselor or Jason Voorhees himself. Play with up to 7 other players and hope you're the fun one. As a counselor, you can temporarily stun Jason using firecrackers and bear traps, as well as various projectile and melee weapons that are found dotted around the map. Your main objective is to stay alive and escape along with your other counselors. The game was originally only multiplayer, but recently a single player mode was added. Added. The mode adds objective based quests that will have you recreating some scenes from movies as well as playing against the AI based counselor bots. The game may have a single player mode now but it is definitely a multiplayer game at its core and it's worth a try, especially if you can get enough friends together so you don't have to play with randoms, it's just better that way in this game. And 4, Dead by Daylight. You knew both this and the last number had to be on the list, but these are well known games. And most of you have probably already tried it, so I decided to reserve the top 3 slots for games you probably haven't tried, but should. Dead by Daylight is a multiplayer 4v1 horror game where one random player takes control of a savage killer, and the other 4 play as survivors who are trying to escape the killer without getting caught. There is a total of 12 unique killers and 6 from some of your favorite franchises, such as Michael Myers, Ghostface, The Demogorgon, Leatherface, Freddy Krueger, and The Pig from the Saw franchise. The survivors are able to work together or favor their own lives, making the game world feel dynamic and realistic. Because who would honestly try to save someone from a bear trap if the freaking mountain from Game of Thrones was on a mass murder spree and is looking for you? Yeah, no, I don't think you would. I sure as hell would. And at 3, Cry of Fear. Cry of Fear is the scariest game on the list, and while this co-op experience may not be about avoiding a player taking on the role of a killer, that can honestly speak volumes. Most of these games rely on players to get a scare, but Cry of Fear is fully cooperative, meaning you'll get scared even with your friends around. You play as a young man desperately searching for answers, finding your way through a city as you slowly descend into madness. There is over 8 hours of gameplay with up to 3 other players, so 4 total, and multiple endings with over 20 unlockables and an unlockable extra campaign after beating the single player version. The game started off as a Half-Life 1 mod, and after 4 years it was finally a standalone game available for free on Steam. I don't remember playing this game, but I have like 80 minutes on record with it somehow. And it's in my library. I really don't know why, because I would have been too scared to play this, and I didn't have 4 friends who played games regularly, so... Or even 4 friends in general. And 2, Last Year. Last year is in similar vein to Dead by Daylight, except it puts you in the center of your own 90s horror film. Play as one of five classmates or the killer in one of these various maps, and stop the students from escaping. As the killer, you get to pick a deck of three different killers, who after they die will take time to respawn, forcing you to play as another. This concept is very interesting and I didn't even know about it or this game until I looked it up for this list. After watching a little bit of gameplay, I knew I wanted to try it so I bought it as soon as I got home. This game is also first person. As the survivors, you get to pick a class, which all have different abilities and their own strengths when working together. You have an escape plan, but the killer knows it, so you need to execute that plan while trying not to get caught. The killer can place traps, become a ghost and move really quickly, or just be a giant spider and I hate that unless I'm the monster. This is the only reason I play this game. Do you prefer being the killer or the survivor? Let me know in the comments and what you pick will say a lot about you. I'm willing to accept that about myself as well. Finally, in at number 1, Stay Out. Stay Out is a strange one. It's a horror MMORPG with shooter elements. Discover a world full of dangerous and incredible events. It has its own laws and principles. Become one of the stalkers, a group of people living the romance of the unknown, able to overcome any trials in search of artifacts on the territory of the alienation zone. Take a look beyond the unknown where the secrets of nature and deadly dangers await. This whole game is based on multiplayer being an MMORPG. It is in free early access and while it may not look terrifying, oh boy it will be. With monsters lurking in the shadows and terror at every turn, you'll be sure to actually be crapping yourself within the first hour of playing. And since it's free and early access, why not try it out? There we have it friends, the top 10 scary multiplayer games you need to play. What did you think of this list? Are there any multiplayer games you know about that weren't here? Or are you looking for someone to play with? Let's start a conversation in the comments section and maybe you'll get a new friend. Or a party going first day out. 
If you enjoyed, be sure you hit like and subscribe to join the clan and ring the notification bell to level up. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been in Shower Main Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video.